Okay, let's determine the first and second derivatives. Determine all critical points and points of inflection for the function on g of x is equal to negative two x cubed plus 12 x squared minus nine, okay? So let's take a look at the first derivative of this function. So g prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative two x cubed plus 12 x squared minus nine, which is equal to negative six x squared plus 24 x. Okay, so this is your function g prime of x. And now what we wanna do here is we wanna figure out all of the critical points, right? And then we wanna find the point of inflection. So to find the critical points, right? to find the critical points specifically, let's to find the critical numbers of x, I'm gonna let the first derivative equal zero. So you get negative six x squared plus 24 x is equal to zero. I'm gonna factor out negative six x and you get x minus four is equal to zero. So you can see that um, the solutions here, x can be equal to zero or four. So these are our critical numbers of x. In order to find um, the critical points, specifically x and y, we need to plug this in. So the, both of these points can express minimum or maximum points. We just don't know which one's which, right? Um, so if I plug this in, uh, one of your points is zero and g of zero. And the other point here is four and g of four. Right, so g of zero here is basically, if I plug in zero into all the x's, you get negative nine. Right, and g of four here is basically, if I plug in four into my function g of x, you basically will get negative two times 64 plus 12 times 16 minus nine. I'm gonna punch this in my calculator. And this gives me 55, okay? So the points that I have, my critical points are zero, negative nine, and four and positive 55. Okay, this is a four, sorry about that. Okay, so we have those two. Now, what we wanna do is we also wanna find our point of inflection, right? So to find our point of inflection, I'm gonna find the second derivative so g double prime of x is the derivative of my function g of x. So I'm going to do derivative of negative 6x squared plus 24x. So that's going to give me negative 12x plus 24. Find my point of inflection, I'm going to let g double prime of x equal 0. So you get negative 12x plus 24 is equal to 0. I'm going to move the 24 to the other side. So negative 12x is equal to negative 24. If I divide by negative 12, x is equal to two. So that is my uh, x value of my point of inflection. If I find my y value, we know that the point of inflection is two and g of two. So g of two here, if I plug this in, you get negative two times two cubed plus 12 times two squared minus nine. So g of two here is basically um, 23, okay? So therefore a point of inflection is basically two and 23, and we have our critical points, zero, negative nine, four, and 55. Um, in order for us to determine, we know that critical points in this context are gonna be maximum minimum points. In order to determine if they're actually maximum minimum points, we can do a second derivative test, right? Um, and we know that if the second derivative test, if f double prime of x is greater than zero, right, we know that the graph is concave up and we should see a minimum point if it's a critical point. And if double prime of x is less than zero, then we also understand that um, the point here, it should be greater, it should be concave up and it should be a maximum point. So you can use the second derivative test to actually determine if it's a maximum minimum point. Uh, let me just do that out here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just test at these points just so we can understand this really well. So I'm gonna take my second derivative function, I'm gonna plug in each of these values. So I'm gonna do f double prime of x. Um, we know that this is basically gonna be, sorry, g double prime of x, we're not using f of x. g double prime of x is equal to negative 12x plus 24. I'm gonna test out 
g double prime zero to see if it's a maximum or minimum point. So you get negative 12 times zero plus 24, so this is equal to 24. And therefore, g double prime of zero is greater than zero, right? Um, and in this case, this means it's concave up, right? So uh, zero and negative nine, this is gonna be a minimum point, right? And then g double prime of four is gonna give me negative 12 times four plus 24, which is negative 48 plus 24, which is negative 24. And you can see that g double prime of four is less than zero. So as a result, um, therefore, four and 55 is a maximum point because it's gonna be concave down. Okay, so this is how we can tell um, just by using the critical points. We can take our critical points here and we can actually determine if these are maximum or minimum points by using the second derivative.